Well, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So today we're going to be on our maximum settings cloud PC rig. This is their 2080 tier. This will be the 2080 Super with the Ryzen 3900X, 24 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gig SSD with 3 terabyte hard drive. We're going to be at 1440p high end settings and we're using Moonlight to stream this at 1440p 120 FPS to my local build. So you can see here we are full screen 1440 and we're on the high end preset. So I haven't made any changes uh, to the graphics in here at all. I just put it, left it at default. It wanted to default to high end. So just like my local RTX 2060, I decided to let it go with that and test it at those settings. So let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. So here we are on the runway. I will be using Copilot to do everything. That way I can do all the different camera angles and pay attention to what's going on without crashing us um, on the way to our destination. I do like to get a takeoff and in flight and a landing to kind of give you an idea of how the game will run. So here we are with our takeoff. Now, this game is crushing systems as it is. Uh, I will say that NVIDIA-based VMs, virtual machines, these cloud PCs, are giving, the, giving me the most trouble when it comes to the performance. Um, I have another video coming out testing the 5700 XT from maximum settings and that GPU runs at 99% the whole time and gets much better performance, much more on par to my 2060 here uh, locally uh, that's not creating a VM or anything. So there's something going on with the optimization when it comes to the game running on these virtual machines with the NVIDIA uh, GPUs, at least for me anyway, I've tested it on three of them and I get the same results. So we're not getting full performance. Uh, a lot of games that I test here on this rig, the 2080 Super, um, that thing's pushed 97 to 99% most of the time in most games I test, um, unless they just aren't a game that's hard to run and it's not using all of it. But this game should definitely be pushing it. Something strange been, has been going on with that. I just want to get that out of the way and let you guys know uh, what's up with that. But either way, I wanted to test the game. Still very playable. Still running really well. You could even knock those settings down a little bit more if you want a little higher frame rate. But as usual, Moonlight, though, doing a fantastic job of streaming this to me in 1440p. No real latency in the controls. Very smooth. We'll do some camera panning around the, the airplane. No big stutters or jitters like I get with Parsec, and I have videos coming on that as well. But yeah, running really good with Moonlight here, even with those interesting optimization issues that I think will get fixed in future updates. But running very smooth, and the game runs really well on this rig either way. Definitely enjoying Moonlight when it comes to the NVIDIA Cloud PCs. It just works so, so well. And I am now getting Moonlight to work on the AMD 5700 XT as well, and it's working really, really nicely also, and I'll have a video coming for you on that as well. This video is not that long, only a couple more minutes, so go ahead and finish watching some of the in-flight here, and then when we get to the landing, I'm gonna jump back in with you guys. All right, so here we are. We're going to be coming in for the landing. I don't know if you guys have used Copilot much, but I have not had very good landing, uh, very good experience with the Copilot as is. Sometimes he doesn't go to the airport at all. Sometimes he doesn't want to land at all. And more often than not, he lands horribly 
or crashes if the runway is too short. They definitely need to update the co-pilot, but uh, either way, here we go with our landing. As you can tell, always when we get closer to the ground, we get a major hit on FPS, and that happens with my local build as well. Uh, it just, once you get down there, for some reason it's much easier when you're flying up higher. It's definitely rendering less uh, at certain points, but it's very interesting the dips that you'll get when you hit the ground. So anyways, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Thanks a lot for coming to check it out. Microsoft's Flight Simulator 2020 running on maximum settings 2080 super build if there are updates to the game or drivers or anything that help this run better and i see a major difference i'll definitely do an updated video and we'll revisit things in the future but i thought it'd be nice to go ahead and get this out for you guys to check out see how it's running on the rig and i have some more coming as well uh checking out this game on some other builds also so if you haven't already subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell so you know when i drop new videos and give this video a thumbs up it all goes away to help the channel and i really appreciate it thanks again for coming to check it out and i'll see you in the next one